<laughs> Tim Allen. A little Tim Allen there. We'll leave that in. Hey guys, what's up and welcome to Laser Everything. Jimmy and I have another unboxing for you today and it is the Fortur Laser Master 3 right here in the cardboard box that I came in. And this should be a fun unboxing, man. Are you stoked? Hell yeah. Yeah. So uh, you've got the you've got the box cutter. Yep. Make it happen. There's the book. Has, right on do we have English? Yeah, actually. Yeah, good colors. Yep, it's uh, good. so good layout. And then we get into some other languages. I'm looking for like instructions. Adjustment of rollers and timing belts. The factory has been adjusted. So it's okay. It's it's decent English. It's not the best, but you can see uh, good pictures. The writing is clear. So it should not be that difficult to put together. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Uh, it's good print and a nice binding. So decent quality there. Hardware? Yep, looks like just some hardware and a USB stick of some kind. Let's take a closer look at that. TFXC reader. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, it's just so this is a micro SD reader. Yeah. So you put your micro SD card in. Looks like it even came with one. And then you can plug that into a USB port on your computer for files. So yeah. you can transfer files to this machine without needing the computer gotcha. as a middleman, which is pretty cool. So it looks like Allen wrenches and just different screws and Couple things. Couple wrenches. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then the hardware. Solid piece, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like one piece. Uh, unlike some of the previous revisions of the Laser Master, the motherboard seems to be kind of enclosed in this area back here. So in the past, you would actually be able to like see the board sticking yep. out like on the, the, the Laser ones. Master 2. Yep. But on this one, it feels a little more like we're, we're kind of locked in here. So over here, we have our micro SD card port. You can load files right directly into the machine, yep. boot and reset, so on and off. And then our points here where we can connect our different motors. Um, good, decent rubber feet. Looks like we have some cooling ventilation along the bottom here for uh, heat exhaust on that motherboard, which is nice. And on the side, we have USB. Yep, so uh, Wi-Fi antenna is gonna go here. And then we have our power and we have a USB port as well. But uh, the finish is nice, it's clean. Good print on there. Uh, so I'm feeling good about it. Oh, look nice, at Look at nice button, power We forgot button. up here too on the top. Yeah, so we have a keyed on off wow. ignition, which is nice. Uh, it does have an emergency stop, which is also appreciated. And uh, yeah, oh. Nice, huh? You like that click? I like that. I, that's very clicky. That's solid. Right so there. yeah, it doesn't look like it's uh, it's going to be too difficult of a build. These mounting points look pretty clean, but we'll take a closer look. So over here, this is going to be the connector for one of the motors. Yep. All enclosed. This is, uh, it's kind of bizarre how it's, it's like nice. all going on inside. Yep. It's kind of nice, but it makes me a little worried. Like what if we need to fix something you know do i have to open this <laughs> well, uh, it's not bad it's only a couple of screws this switch right here the yrr is their rotary tool or oh. you can switch to the y motor so the whole point behind this switch is that you don't have to unplug the y-axis and plug in the rotary nice. every time that you want to uh, use the rotary you just leave it plugged in all the time and flip the switch when nice. you're ready uh, and then this will connect uh, to one of our motors as well so that is probably the i'm assuming the back panel yep. right so this will be the, the this will be the front up here and then we'll have the back like that with arms in between to connect them yeah so i'm kind of assuming that'll be the layout but uh yeah again pretty nice on though. the switch i'm i'm pretty stoked on that switch right there very again very clicky yeah <laughs> feels solid yep. so uh i'm good with that we do have a loose screw in the box. So or an extra, can... or could be an extra. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll see if we can find out where that came from. That missing screw, guys, uh, came right from this rear port on the vent. The screw hole back here by the vent, uh, by the motherboard, is the one that came loose and was just in the box. So you may want to keep an eye out for that yep. when you're unpacking. Don't just throw things out. Uh, definitely check, because that was definitely loose when we opened that up. It's one rail. Oh, so this is one of the arms? Yeah, the like rails. Simple enough, right? Yep. Easy. Cool. There is the 
How's hey, the belt on that nice, nice and tight? Smooth, yeah. Yeah, like ready to go from the factory? Yeah, very smooth. So this will be our, uh, this will be our gantry. So this is the part that's going to sit in the middle yeah. and roll back and forth and side to side. So this is the actual moving part rather than part of the base. And uh, I, these are really, I'm kind of surprised. I, I thought this would be like, remember when we did the AL2? Yeah. And we unboxed that and there, everything was like real. It was all made out of this. Yeah. Like, I like these big chunky yes, it things on the it side. Goes, like, like. It's a good feet. It's heavy. Yep. It's got weight to it. It's heavy. It's nice. There's your antenna. Oh, Wi-Fi antenna. Cool. That's important. <laughs> Extra belt or? Uh, maybe extra, maybe required for assembly. We'll have to get there and see. So we have some air hoses here. If you're going to connect air to this machine, uh, you do have the parts in there that you need. It looks like there's a little splitter valve uh, with your air control. It looks like we have a flow valve flow here. Valve, yep. yep. And then uh, the kind of in-out port for air, uh, which we'll see where that goes on the back of the machine. But uh, those parts are included there. Glasses. Oof. It's like, I feel like as time goes on, these get like cheaper and cheaper feeling <laughs> instead of better. You yeah. know, they feel worse instead of better. These don't even have wavelengths uh, printed on them. And we yeah. just got done talking about that on the podcast that these, you know, if they don't have the wavelength they protect against printed on the glasses themselves, they're probably not glasses you want to be wearing. So yeah. I think we're going to uh, definitely be replacing these for sure. Hoses. That's just your uh, airline air, hose. Airline hose there. Yeah. yeah. Power cord. Nice. USB cables. Cool. Take all that. Another, and oh, your the power AC supply. AC adapter. Yep. yep. We got our motor connectors yep. and our shield. shield. Little guard. Yep. That's a thick boy. Yeah. I kind of like that. It's got like a heat shrinked wrapping yep. around the whole thing. And uh, it's, it's, it's very like, much. It's like that's like a, like a gas line. Yeah, hose. that's cool. That's nice. That's cool. Odds and ends. Odds and ends. Focal piece stick. Of, yeah. Yep. Zip ties. Brush. This is the. Uh, if you guys have seen our Ortur lasers on the channel before, you recognize this bag for sure. And there's our Ortur laser module, and it's in the static free bag. This is the LU2-10. So this is their 10 watt module, and uh, here are some of the specs on it. So it's a uh, LU2-10 10, 10 watt focused beam. Uh, the focal length is 50 millimeters and the max input is 24 volts it runs at three amps it's a 445 nanometer blue laser uh, they classify it as a class 4 laser and the maximum luminous power that's your actual wattage right that's what we we're calling wattage guys is 10,000 milliwatts or 10 watts so this is a a 10 watt laser module right there and uh it looks good it's cool it's chill and of course, we already saw this because we unboxed all of those extra, yep. the Ortur modules, yep. remember? Yep. And that the one came with the weird upgrade board yep. that we would need if we were going to use yep. it on something. I don't see that upgrade board in this box. Nope. So I'm hoping that this one just plugs works with it. Yep. You know, it's the, the motherboard will already support Sweet. the 10 watt diode module. And that's just our second rail there, guys. Nothing too fancy there. So very nice uh, overall so let's take a look at what was in the box <laughs> okay guys so here is the unassembled spread so we have the front panel the back panel, the two rails, the gantry, and then we have the AC adapter and the power cable, our air hoses, goggles, extra belt or belt needed, we yeah. don't know yet. And the USB cable, our motor and power cables, our little goodies bag, Wi-Fi antenna, our air hose valve, the LU2-10 10 watt Ortur laser module, our air, uh, air assist nozzle, the guard and our instruction booklet. Uh, so this is what you're getting, not to mention our little toolbox. We don't want to forget that. So we do have a little toolbox here as well. So this is what you're getting in the box with the Ortur Laser Master 3. Uh, do you have any initial like thoughts or impressions? How are you feeling about it? I support? can't wait to see it together. I want to see it together too. Yeah. I want to put it together. I, I, I like this one the best of all so far that we've opened. Yeah. I like the quality. You like this it. over the X tool? 
Oh, you didn't, yeah, you didn't get to open the, you weren't here for the X-Tool. No. Yeah, the X-Tool is really nice. But this one's really nice too. This is uh, definitely a, a competitor. I was a little nervous because I thought, you know, I've liked Orteur stuff for a really long time and I thought I was going to be like Team X-Tool now. But this is this is actually going to make it a little bit of a fight. Yep. This is a this is a pretty nice little module here. Uh, I just nice like I just like the way it feels. I like the color. Yeah, you know, I like the color and everything. So. Yeah, it uh, it definitely feels nice and it looks easy to put together. It looks really it looks really easy to put together for yeah. sure. This stuff all looks really cool, but we actually have one more box to open from Orchur. They shipped me some little bonus item that yep. I I want to get into. So we're gonna actually tear into that right now. All right, guys, so here it is. Here is the extra little bonus treat that they sent over. I didn't ask for this and uh, they didn't tell me they were sending it. So let's go ahead and get it opened up. This is the Orcher LEP, laser engraving platform. It looks like it just kind of folds out, right? Yeah, it's metal. Oh, it's, oh, ooh, oh okay. That actually kind of looks like a little bit of a pain in the butt. But we'll put it together real quick, we have time. So it looks like these corners come off here, guys. Pretty simple. So we'll just pull all the corners really quick. So it would basically look like this. And then this little thing here slides up and down and somehow connects to this thing so that you can corner stuff up if you want to if yeah. you want to move that around but that's there it is kind of cool I mean, I mean i like that it's got the the teeth in it yeah so that you're not marking right onto the metal because that means that it's going to flash back up Correct. and burn the back side of what you're doing yeah so this does raise it up a little bit which yep. is nice but not it's not so gigantic or so high that the short little diode Correct. is going to have problems Correct. getting over it so that's not um you know it's not too bad i, I still think this is stupid i hate this yeah. But, you know, maybe it'll be cool when it's put together. Yeah. I just don't. Maybe you find yourself useful once you build it together. I just don't want to build it. So um, we will build that when we build the Orchard Laser Master 3. We'll be back with you guys soon so that we can get this thing assembled and do some first cuts and stuff. But we just want to get it out of the box so it was ready to go. So next time that we're hanging out with you guys, we'll put this thing together. We'll do a couple burns and get some more initial impressions from it. But that was the unboxing for the Orchard Laser Master 3, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys got value out of this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that Jimmy is a champion. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified the next time we upload a video. If you love the channel and everything we do here over at Laser Everything, please consider signing up for the Laser Master Academy. It's the number one way to support the channel. You can find out exactly how to do that over at masters.lasereverything.net. Why should people sign up for the LMA? It's a good place to learn things. If you have questions, people are always there to answer your questions for you. And you can watch a lot of videos and there's a lot of knowledge in there that you're gonna need, especially when you're new like me. It's a really good community. And if you can't afford it right now, it's not a big deal. We do have links to our absolutely 100% free Discord and Facebook group down in the description as well. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Blazer Everything. Peace, guys and we'll see you in the next one.